there, welcome to my studio. My name's Siobhan. On this channel, I share videos about figure drawing and specifically how you can develop a dynamic and responsive style of drawing through drawing the figure. Today, I'm sharing a video about a portrait drawing that I did and I want to talk a little bit about the process of making expressive portraits. I want to talk about my approach to drawing the portraits and to making these kind of loose gestural portrait studies. And I also want to explain a little bit about what exactly makes a portrait or a drawing expressive. And how do you achieve expression and loose kind of gestural qualities when you are focused also on trying to capture a likeness and detail. So before we jump into the video, I just wanted to remind you that I've just published a figure drawing class on Skillshare and Skillshare have given me a link for you to check it out, plus get one month free of premium access. So that means if you use the link in the description below, you can check out all of Skillshare's catalogue and library of classes for free up, for a, up to a month. So I hope you check it out and I'd also love if you let me know in the comments below if you do join my class because then I'll be sure to look out for you on the student list and give you feedback on your work and your drawings. So here's today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments and I'll check back in with you at the end. For this drawing, I'm using really nice expensive paper. It's Fabriano, it's my favorite paper to draw on, but you don't have to have expensive paper if you wanna try out this um, sort of experimental way of doing a portrait drawing. You know, you can use something like a newsprint paper, that's totally fine. I'm also using a charcoal pencil. A lot of people like to draw with charcoal, sticks of charcoal, but I find this pencil is very nice to work with. And for the pose or for the reference photo, I will leave a link to that photo in the description below if you wanna go and check it out. So whenever I see expressive portraits, the thing that stands out so much for me is always how effortless it looks. You know, the final product always looks like the artist just swept the charcoal effortlessly across the paper and they were able to achieve these stunning drawings of the face and really capture the you know nuances of say the eye or the mouth or things like that which are in reality so hard to draw. I think it's very different when you're looking at like a very formal academic drawing you can obviously see the effort and the skill that goes into something like that but to me a dynamic expressive portrait seems to have that effortless quality and what I wanted to point out is that, well, for me anyway, this kind of drawing is far from actually being effortless. Really actually a huge battle every time and very challenging from the beginning of the process right the way to the end, simply because I never know how it's going to turn out. You know, I don't have a plan and I have little or no design or construction in a formal sense. It's just me making marks based on what I'm looking at. And that can be unnerving while you're drawing and it can force you sometimes to second guess yourself and to stop a drawing midway because you think it's not working out. For example, this whole entire first section is just me trying to figure out the shape and the direction of the head. I'm trying to like really understand the angle of the nose and the eyes. And I tend to use gestural searching lines to do that maybe possibly in the hopes that one of them will land in the right place um, but ultimately all of these marks will form part of the overall drawing. The other thing that I'm doing in this early phase is I'm just blocking in dark tones. So I, I tend to, when I look at any, what I'm drawing, I tend to squint as I look at the reference and then I'll mark out all of the really dark areas in the face as patches or areas of shading. So to make an expressive drawing, you definitely have to be willing to let all of your marks fall where they want to and remain uh, as, much as, as much a part of the finished drawing as you can. 
I think this is key to making expressive drawings and that is just to be confident in your line work. If you work like this, like eventually the drawing kind of starts to emerge by itself. You'll start to see the features of the face more or less in the right place. And at this point, then the temptation is to really dial it in and start drawing very small with, you know, tiny detailed marks. What I would say is even at this stage, try not to do that. Uh, rather than going in and starting to draw small, you know, details like the pupils of the eyes, what I do, and it kind of works for me, is I try to remain very much in that gestural approach and just draw blocks of shading or blocks of darks. So in other words, try to keep drawing the dark areas. Uh, that can be very useful and build up your tones gradually. I find that this works uh, much better for me than drawing the details. For example, instead of say drawing the shape of the mouth, it's better to draw the darkest areas within that shape. And the same goes for the nose and the eyes. One of the best tips that I ever got when it comes to portrait drawing was that somebody once said, if you focus on the shadows on a person's face, you'll always actually be able to get a likeness of the person. Because the shadow areas or the shadow shapes across the face actually define the person's features. So I'll just uh, put that out there, something to think about. But for me, that one sort of one tip really, really helped. It seems really obvious to say that what makes a drawing expressive is the mark making. You know, the confident, bold lines and marks that, as I said earlier, look effortless. But for me, expressive drawing is really about a response. It's how you respond to your subject. And that sometimes has more to do with how you are observing it. So you respond to what you see with your pencil. I'm not really trying to measure or construct or design the drawing in any way. And it's kind of an important distinction to make because what you're trying to achieve in an expressive drawing is something very different than a formal academic drawing. It's much more gestural and because you're not designing your drawing, you know, from the outset, all of the marks that you make throughout the process remain part of the final product. And I find that really interesting and that to me is what adds this other kind of quality or other dimension to a drawing like this. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some useful information out of it or some inspiration for your own drawing practice. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already so that we can stay in touch and I'll look out for you in the next video. Bye.